So this is Concoction Miracle Rogue, and this is the deck I had the most success with today. I ended up going seven and three with it, which isn't a huge sample size, but it did pretty well against a pretty wide variety of decks. Not only do you have a lot of the same damage you had in the previous versions of Miracle Rogue, but now that you have these concoctions, you're able to actually play really valuable three mana spells that can not only draw you two cards, deal three damage, give you a random card and reduce its cost by three. It's just really good value for the cost if you are able to combine them because you can also make them free with the Ghoulish Alchemist. And although the weapon won't get as big as the Lone Shark version that can get literally up to 30 to 40 damage in one turn, Turn, this deck is going to be more consistent because it doesn't rely on one huge combo to win. It relies on a couple of smaller combos that you use to pump up a, a Sinstone Graveyard or a Draka, or sometimes even just flood the board, which you can do if you get a couple of good concoctions, ones that summon random three cost minions. Mulligans for the deck, in my opinion, are going to be the Blackwater Cutlass because it's tradable. I like the Ghoulish Alchemist as well as Mailbox Dancer. I would never keep multiple copies of these, but having one just to get that early ramp going is nice. And then usually Sinstone Graveyard, Shroud of Concealment, and Necrolord Draca are good as well. Don't forget to like, comment, and most of all, enjoy the gameplay. Okay, um, I like having the potion belt because then I can play this. No, yeah, this entire hand's really good. We play this turn too, then this concoction gone fishing all next turn. And we're able to get a whole bunch of value. We got a mailbox dancer, which I do like. We're not gonna play him, obviously, not immediately anyway. And we're gonna hope for the best here. I think that this deck actually has the potential to be very, very good. Oh, I'm excited. I really am. They play Bloodseeker. Oh, they're going the Hunter deck. I'm very excited to play that Hunter deck, by the way. Very excited. Cutlass. Yeah, we're not going to play that. We're going to just play this. We're going to go for... Mm, yeah, that's fine. And then draw two cards, I think, is best. Job's done. I don't know if I necessarily want to play this immediately. I kind of want to play it when I draw... Um after I draw a, a Sinstone Graveyard, but at the same time, I don't know when I'm gonna draw it, you know? Because I don't know... Yeah, I don't know when I'm gonna draw it, which is the problem. I wanna save Shadow Step for the Mailbox Dancer, because that's gonna do a lot of damage later on. So we're gonna go... Boom. I guess I can dredge first to just see what I get. I get a Sinstone Graveyard, so I'm gonna take this. And I'm actually not going to play Mixed Concoction. Because it says your next one costs zero. I don't have to play it this turn. So what I'm going to do is it's going to be this into Dancer, Shadow Step, Dancer, Coin, Coin. Um, probably Concoction. And we're just going to get a really big minion. And try to slam him in the face as hard as possible. Maybe we can find another Sinstone Graveyard and play two things. I don't know. I'm fine with that. It's fine. Oh no, that's an honorable kill. Uh-oh, that's not good for me. Oh my gosh, we got another Sinstone Graveyard. We're actually chillin'. Holy moly, we're actually so good right now. It's gonna be boom, shadow step. Play it again. Double coin, play this, play this. Coin, coin. We'll play this to draw two cards. And randomly get another card from another class. Murloc Tiny Fin's fine. Then we're going to play this, and we're going to get two big stealth minions. And then Shroud of Concealment is also very helpful. But this is a lot of damage on turn four. Pretty good, I would say. Pretty good, I would say. Yeah, I think two Mailbox Dancers is correct. I think at the end of the day, the pop-off potential of having that second Mailbox Dancer is just too good. Okay, two four fours. Honestly, that's still fine. They're able to kill off a couple of my things, which isn't that big of a deal. We're able to... I mean, I think we're going to just race them. I think at the end of the day, we just race them to try to finish them off as quickly as possible here. I mean, 18 damage going face, and then we get to draw cards and maybe pop off again next turn, and they have to trade into my 9-9s. Nine just looks like it's pretty good to me. Um, I'm going to trade this way first. You know what? No, we'll draw cards first. I don't want to accidentally end up drawing a minion. You're interesting. We'll trade this... Well... We'll add a concoction, and then we'll trade. And then we trade. Okay, prep, not bad. These two go face. I'm pretty sure we win the game next turn, actually. 
Unless I die here. 13 damage showing. It's possible I die. It's possible. I'm not sure how probable, but... Like, they have to come up with 10 more damage, which, like I said, is definitely not impossible, especially because they have the coin. They could definitely put together a little bit more, but if they don't have it, they have to trade in or they lose next turn, guaranteed. And even then, I still think that, um... Oh, no. Into Tavish? Oh, no. That could end up being very bad for me. That could be very bad. But I don't know if it's enough to save them as long as like a 9-9 lives and we can bait out a freezing trap with a 2-2. So honestly, I feel pretty all right. They're probably just going to go full face here and bank on the secrets to help them live. Let's see here. Oh, they're just done? Yeah. Two 9-9s turn four is kind of strong. I really like Potion Belt. I like the ability to draw a card, but I don't think I want it right now. I honestly think it's better to just try to find a good card. Okay, so we're going to try to pop off around turn four, if possible. So it's going to be draw this, and then it's going to be this, and then hopefully by that point we can get a Sinstone Graveyard or a Draka and kind of go crazy. I will admit, a Murloc could be a problem, could be a little bit of a problem. We'll take draw two and a random card. We go Shroud of Concealment next turn to draw some cards. And then after that, we are going to have to just commit to the board. It doesn't even really matter what we end up getting. We get the okay. Very, very nice. We will play this though. And get Putricide and Draca. I don't know if we're able to play Draca next turn. We could wait one turn. Oh my word. That's not good. That goes on who? Goes on that one? Fair enough. We get another Gnomish Alchemist? Or no, Ghoulish Alchemist. I don't know why I said Gnomish. Um, I'm gonna go boom, draw, and then I'm gonna play the other, the second Ghoulish, I think. Let me play the second Ghoulish. We get Shattered Mines, which is pretty cool. And we get Kurtris. Hey, yo, is that not broken? No, that's actually super duper good for us. No, yeah, I play that for sure. I could technically even like play prep into this and then play this for one. Ooh, no, 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 no. What I could do is I can go prep into this and then I'll draw another card. Yes, this makes my plays a little bit weaker, but hear me out. It's not that bad. Okay, we're still we're still able to kill up a decent number of their cards. We're fighting for board right now We have Draca and yes, this hurts But we have enough other cards that we can play to where it shouldn't be that big of a deal Hopefully not many more things die. We can play Putricide and we can trade in at least a couple of minions here That would be really really nice. I would very much appreciate that Okay, summon two three twos. That's their whole turn. That's fine. Maybe they trade in maybe they go face I would assume Oh, no what are you doing? Oh no. That's not good. Shadow step? Interesting. We could technically shadow step this. But I don't think I want to. I think I'm gonna go putricide. And just start combining them, you know? Destroy this. Yep. Then we're gonna destroy this. I think that works. And then we're going to go this for zero. And I don't know if I want to shadow step this or not. I think I do because then I play him and it destroys this and that, which I think works really, really well for a board based deck. Oh no, it's two, not three. I forgot this card is awful. This is not good. I should have traded in differently. That was my bad. That was entirely my bad. But then again, I don't think it's terrible because we are still fighting for board. So like based on what I was, I should have, I should have done it on the alchemist and played the destroy random card card. That would have been correct. For some reason, I thought this was only three mana. But then I remembered, wait a minute, this card is awful. Why would a three, four, I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal. We can play the cards on the, on the right. 
death rattles trigger twice? Please, no. Oh, God. I mean, we do still have this, which is nice. And we have Ghastly Strike, which is actually also pretty good. Like, I don't think this is terrible. I honestly think that this is still a very winnable game. Yeah, this is still super duper winnable. They run out of resources. We didn't get any of our like really, really good cards, but I don't think that matters. Destroy two random cards. It's gonna be you first. And then hopefully we can, oh, we get Serrated Bone Spike. That's perfect. That's actually perfect. Serrated into destroy two. Then this should cost, oh no, it's not perfect. This costs one. So we'll uh, trade here, trade here. And then we're gonna do uh, this. And then we're gonna kill off another one. And we'll, oh, I didn't want it to be the one. It The, the board shifted at the end there. That's okay. Okay, we bought for board successfully. We can play sprint. We still have a decent number of cards, although significantly less um, combo pieces. Draca being here definitely sucks. We can kill off some of the threes. Honestly, this isn't even terrible. We just draw a bunch of cards here. Sinstone Graveyard. I think we can play that this turn if we want to. Just to start popping off. Oh shoot, I haven't been paying attention to uh, chat. I'm so sorry. I was messed up with this deck. Um, I think I wanted to be Sinstone Graveyard though. And then we just trade into two three twos. Yeah, we can wait one more turn. I'm not super concerned. We can kill off two of the three twos. And then pass for now. We got a Serrated Bone Spike. We've got Kurtris. We have ways of dealing with the stuff. We can also play the Shroud. Oh, uh, we have to destroy that right away, unfortunately. But that's fine. I'm actually not bummed by it. I'm destroying that right away. We want to end up playing Draca, but maybe we don't end up playing it. We get a Scribbling Stenographer, which means we're going to only draw one card off of this now, which definitely is not optimal, but it is going to be a good one. I'm trying to think if it's worth it. Or should I just play Draca so I can play Kurtris for reduced cost? I think I can play this and I can still play Draca. No, I'm trolling. Well, we can technically still play Drac if we wanted to, but I don't think I want to. I just want to get a big stealth minion. Let's get stealth, which is nice. We're going to just try to get a big stealth minion. Maybe we can get another Sinister Graveyard. Two concoctions. That's not great. We'll still take it, though. Then it's going to be uh, this, and then it's going to be probably just Coin Stenographer and then Concoction. We'll do deal three, and then get a three cost. And it's gonna be coin, this, stenographer, hero power, and then this goes here, I guess. A 9-9 nine -nine stealth. We're running out of resources, but I think that it's still winnable. Like we still have prep, we still have a shadow step. We still have a sinstone graveyard we have yet to play. I think we can get Draca's ability to be pretty big. And if they run out of resources, we're technically still favored. Like that's such a weak play for them. Oh, thank goodness. What a disaster of a game this was. I played the first early turn so bad. I like having the Cutlass. I like the Serrated Bone Spike. I like the Concoctor and I like Prep. I mean, honestly, if we can just get Sinstone Graveyard or Draca, we pop off as early as turn. I want to say like three or four, maybe even five, if we can get a Sinstone Graveyard. And this tradable is going to make it a lot more possible that we do that. We get a Potion Belt. I'm hoping it doesn't go on the Potion Belt. Well, even if it does, I don't think it matters too much. Okay, it goes on a Bone Spike. We're gonna play the Potion Belt next turn. They're gonna play a Potion Belt as well. They got unlucky, unless they play like, um, what's it called, Gone Fishing, in which case they can make use of the mana. If they just pass though, that's gonna be kind of unfortunate for them. Are you only going to play Rogue today? Oh, my bad, I, miss, I misread that. Um, no, I played two Death Knights already. When I finish this, I'm probably gonna play a Hunter deck. And yeah, I was just going to not stop until I hit Legend, but honestly, I don't know how long I'm going to stream. I'll probably stream until pro like Diamond, I would say, is, is more realistic. I want to draw two. I think drawing cards in this deck is really important, and then this to reduce the cost of stuff is also pretty solid. 
we can play this just immediately. I don't really mind. Ooh, the only problem with that is we will overdraw because it gives us three cards, not just two. So we're going to have to play like crap into that or something to, to get rid of it. Sinstone Graveyard. We can pop off as early as next turn. We're going to play that now, though. Honestly, we could play Gone Fishing. Yeah, I'd rather know what I'm... I'd rather draw something good guaranteed. Like the Ghoulish Alchemist. I am sad that Drac is at the bottom, though. And this makes me think maybe I take Drac up so I can get a big weapon and try to pop off sooner. Because I think that popping off sooner is more important than... Like... Popping off slightly harder. Because I'll have one more turn to set up attacks and do stuff. Although, currently, I am unsure of how possible it is. We have to wait for one more turn, I think, before we can pop off. We have to wait for one more turn. Which sucks, honestly. But we do. We honestly have to wait one more turn, because we don't have the mana, and they don't have minions on the board. So, I'll just hit, and I'll pass. Oh, this sucks. But we will pop off next turn. Mark my words, it's going to be fantastic. We're going to have to kill our own minion... And maybe we can draw something good. Maybe we draw, like, Shadow Step. Actually, no. N Ghoulish Alchemist could potentially be good. We get sh Okay, well, we drew Shadow Step. That's interesting. Yeah, we have to play really fast right now. So I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna commit all my cards right about now. Drawing cards makes sense. Shadow Step. Play it again. Then we're gonna go... This draws four cards for three mana. That's kind of insane, actually. Prep. Serrated to destroy my own minion. And then we're gonna go... Wait, we just played Serrated. I trolled so hard there. Oh my god. No, we play this to draw a bunch of cards, right? And then this goes to four. So we can play coin. So you can play coin. Into you. And do I just want to play prep? I think I actually do have to play prep for nothing. I do have to play prep for nothing. You might be wondering why, and it's if I left this at, um, if I left this at, what's it called, nine attack, if I go nine, ten, nine, I'm off lethal by one, which isn't the worst thing in the world, but I would like to have set up lethal. I think setting up lethal right here is best, and hopefully they don't just run like Restaurant Viper. But yeah, we had to get the one extra damage here, because 9, 10, 9 would have been one damage off of a two turn lethal. In Stone Graveyard, honestly, the Alchemist is pretty good too, but I don't necessarily think I want to keep him. I can draw him off of Shroud, but I guess it's better to have him early than to not have him. Because if we can draw Potion Belt, we just go off. I mean, we're able to get, what, a really big Sinstone Graveyard. We play this turn two. Okay, that's fine. I take one damage. Congrats. Uh, we play this turn two, this turn three, and then turn four. Quite honestly, we can go nuts. I'm not even kidding. Quite honestly, we can go crazy. We play this. To be fair, maybe we could go crazy this turn. No. Well... Prep, serrated, this, this, coin, this. And then this becomes like a six or seven attack stealth minion. It's not bad. Yeah, I guess we'll commit to it. Serrated into this for one. We draw two, we get ghoulish. Not bad. We'll play um Dredge and then we're going to coin this out. I don't know if we want to shadow step. We found Draca which is extremely good. The only problem is Sprint is also really good. And we don't have any concoctions, so I feel like it's not worth it to play this, but also Coin, play the Stealth one so it can connect for some damage, and then this is good because they just played the ricochet, ricochet Shot, so they can't really hit my Stealth minions. And then next turn, Mailbox, Coin, Shadow Step, Mailbox, Coin, Draca. Maybe we wait a turn or two and try to make it slightly bigger and try to combo it all turn five with the uh, graveyard. Seems decent. 
We get prep. I mean, this looks really good. I'm trying to think what I need to do to stay alive here. Do I need to trade? I mean, if I get this up to like six damage right now, one, two, or one, two, three, four, five, and it starts at six. It starts at one, so it's six. It's 10 damage. I'm not even close to getting lethal. I'm not even close to getting lethal. I think we can commit next turn, but for right now, we focus on surviving. I actually think for now we focus on surviving. This being at four HP means it doesn't technically die to the weapon, so we can maybe connect with that one more time. And we're hoping to draw really anything. Gone fit like a spell so we can combo it with prep. That comes out, I'm fine with that. It's actually not that big of a deal. We've got two turns to try to win the game because this has two turns before it becomes unstealth. We do end up getting this, which is pretty good. I don't think we end up playing prep, to be honest. Prep, shadow step. <clears throat> or not prep, shadow step. Coin, shadow step. Play this, coin again. Do we want to coin again? I honestly don't know. I think trying to get as big of a minion as possible and win the game in the next two turns is probably correct. Coin. Rep. Play this. Sorry, I should have played this first. Then this reduces the cost of this by a pretty decent amount. Do this. Go face. Go face. I mean, at the end of the day, that's the best I can do. We get them down to 14. We need to hope we don't die this turn. We need to hope they don't have wild spirits uh, to double activate these. But I would assume that they do, and if they do, we kind of get wrecked here. We know our sprint's at the bottom, so it's not like we're going to miraculously draw a bunch of cards. Getting a coin? Okay, fair enough. It's actually insane. Yeah, in that last game? Yeah, that game was kind of nuts. When I want to draw, I mean, Potion Belt would be awesome as well. Two of our best cards are at the bottom of our deck. Our refill and then our other refill. But it's okay. If we can draw Potion Belt, awesome. If we can draw Shroud of Concealment, decent. If we can draw... I don't know. I mean, I don't know if Shadow Step's really good. Concoctor is at least playable. Gone Fishing doesn't really do anything because it's not going to be a combo. Makes me think maybe I should have held on to the coin, but honestly, I needed all the damage I could get. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you joking? This is some sort of sick joke. Oh my god, I actually lose. I actually lost. We got Ghostly Strike. I mean, I'm not dead yet. I cannot believe they ran Shell Shot and had the extra spell power with that to kill off everything. So what wins me the game here? Assuming I don't die. The Stenographer wins it for me, of which I have two. And they only get one, which is fine. Stenographer is a win. Potion Belt is a win. Um, those are the two, really. Ghastly Strike, you're so cringe, actually. Oh my god. Oh, we got it. Oh my gosh, we did it. Thank goodness gracious. Oh my gosh. Oh, 